Just a couple days ago, Google Cloud Platform announced the beta launch of a very useful new tool called the Cloud Scheduler. Firebase developers can use it to schedule cloud functions to run at a specific point in time or on a time interval. Today you'll learn how to use the scheduler, and I'll also throw in a few pro tips to make development of scheduled jobs as smooth as possible. If you're new here, like and subscribe, and you can check out the full source code on angularfirebase.com. Running cloud functions on a schedule has been one of the most commonly requested features, so I'm super excited to now be able to do that. There's all kinds of different use cases for scheduled jobs, but what I'm going to do today is combine it with Twilio to create a function that will call my cell phone every five minutes and remind me to have a good day. In other words, we're going to build our own robocaller. Hey Jeff, I just wanted to remind you to have an awesome day. Thank you. So first let's take a look at the Cloud Scheduler tab on the GCP console, and you can see that setting up a job is pretty straightforward. You can trigger jobs in one of two ways. You can either send a data payload to an HTTP endpoint, or you can send it to a PubSub channel. In most cases, I would recommend setting up your jobs on a PubSub trigger. The primary reason is that PubSub channels are secure by default, meaning only authorized Google services can send data to those channels. In contrast, HTTP triggers are public to the world, so anybody that has that URL could potentially trigger your function before it's actually scheduled. Now, the other thing you'll notice here on the console is that you set up the schedule using a cron table. This is just the standard format for scheduling cron jobs in Unix-based systems. It's not something you really need to know because there's tools like CronTab Guru that allow you to write out your schedule in a way that a regular human can understand. So now we're going to write a cloud function that is triggered on a PubSub message, and we'll hit the Twilio API to make a voice call to my personal phone number. So we're here in the functions environment, and the only special thing I've done is installed Twilio's node client library. Then I've also added a series of environment variables to our function for the to and from phone numbers, and also the client API keys. All that information is contained on the Twilio dashboard. I'm not really going to get into that because I just want to set this up as an example so we can schedule it on a time interval. From that point, we'll go ahead and take our API keys and then initialize the Twilio client. And then we'll set up a cloud function that's triggered on a specific PubSub topic. Anytime a message is sent to this topic, this cloud function will be invoked. You'll want to make a note of the topic you choose because you'll need that when setting up the cloud scheduler. We can make this an async function, and then we'll use the Twilio client to make a phone call, which just needs a to and a from number. Then we can give it a script, which is a URL that needs to be saved somewhere with some XML data. I'll show you that in just a second here. And that's pretty much all the code that's necessary to build your own robocaller with Twilio. Obviously there's a lot more we can do here, but we'll cover that in a future video. Then just to show you what that XML looks like, it's called Twimmel format, and it has basically just a script that your bot will say when the user picks up the phone. The next step is to just deploy our functions, and then we'll set up a scheduled job to run them on a time interval. Now, the next thing we'll do is go into the GCP dashboard, and we'll create the topic that we just registered this cloud function for. So I actually changed the name of my trigger to call my phone. And if you've deployed your cloud function, you should see that you have one subscriber after you create this topic. And if you want to test it out now, you can just send a message to this topic, and you should get Twilio calling your phone after a couple seconds. That's how the function gets invoked, but we want this to happen, say, every five minutes or so. Let's go back to CronTab Guru, and we'll figure out the pattern to send a message every five minutes. Go ahead and copy that, and then go back to the Cloud Scheduler tab on GCP. You'll first need to give the job a name, and then we can paste in the cron table into the frequency field. Then the last step is to set the target as PubSub, and then we'll have it point to our call my phone topic. Now every five minutes on the hour, you should get a call from Twilio reminding you to have a great day. And a couple of other nice things about this interface is that you can trigger your jobs to run early by just clicking the run now button. And you can also view the logs to make sure that they're running on the schedule that you intended. All in all, this is a very useful new tool to have, and I look forward to building some integrations with it in the future. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up there. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. And if you want to take your development to the next level, consider becoming a pro member at angularfirebase.com. You'll get access to all kinds of exclusive content designed to help you build and ship your app faster. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.